Good afternoon, everybody. It is June 22nd today. Um, Ashton and I in Chapel are just arriving to the uh, Farm Progress Show here in Regina. At least I think it's still called the Farm Progress Show. But anyways, I always just know it as the Farm Show here in Regina. And I uh, haven't been here since, well, COVID. So we'll see. I'm, I'm thinking it's shrunk because this is all parking. It used to be equipment. And uh, behind the trees, you can't see it. There's a McDonald's. That used to be equipment. And there used to be equipment where all those vehicles are parked. So... I don't know where all the equipment is, but uh, let's go find it. All right, we just got inside where it's nice air conditioning. It's cool. We got a lot of flags there for the different countries. Let's go see what we can find. I guess this is where all the booths are. All right, two minutes and 33 seconds to the Dagelman countdown launch. It could just be sponsored by Dagelman. Might not have anything to do with Dagelman. Who knows? Are we going to wait around for two minutes? Ah, most likely not. <laughs> I don't see tractors. I'm going to where there's tractors. So every place has their booths, you guys. Everyone's promoting, advertising, selling, all these different countries. And Oh, we got Honeybee over here. Oh, don't these look familiar? What if they changed anything? This is different. We have an overlap. And the overlap always breaks. But I feel like that could break too if you hook something. Grabbing lentils, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe it won't, but just look, sure looks like it could. Dig that in the ground. Okay, we've seen lots of honeybee stuff. I got honeybee, let's see what else we can find. Oh, Apache. We have demoed a, the, uh, a few Apaches. Seedmaster, never run one. How do I adjust the depth on this funky donkey thing here? I don't know if this thing just looks overly complicated or just super duper simple, but uh, it's got to be a tool. It's got to be a tool for this thing. Oh, I feel like I would bend that. Turn with this thing in the ground? I don't know if I like that. See what else we can find. Now that's a metering system. That's got to be better than the Borgo meat grinder. <laughs> oh man, I don't wouldn't want to change all those hoses coming out the back. But it would probably dang, it'd be accurate. All right, let's see what else we can find. Oh, here we go, you guys. The new 50 Series Prayer. You guys have probably seen this on uh, Nick Welker's uh, videos. This is what I, This is one of the things I came to see. I don't know about that exhaust system. Kind of squared. Kind of like it. Might grow on me. I'm assuming a 1,600-gallon tank. Rinse tank's kind of funky, but battery box. I sure hope they put another cubby on the other side because I don't want to have to walk around my sprayer for my gloves on this side. I know that they changed their ride system. Oh yeah, they put airbags. Bet you this thing rides really good. Not short of grease nipples, I can tell. I don't know why we have, don't have auto greasing systems, but Here. Oh, people have the carpet in, but they do not take their shoes off. I'm not going to take my shoes off because I don't think anybody else has, and that's kind of that's kind of weird, gross. New dash, Viper Four, obviously. They're Pro 1200. These must be their switches. I like that. Hopefully, they light up all fancy dancy. Corner post. Well, that's a lot different. You know, it's about time that they actually came out with a new console because they've been running like the old 2166 console in the, for their sprayers for like, I don't know what, 15, 20 years, I don't know, something like that. So this looks pretty fancy. 
zoom in on some of these features. Got your boom, auto steer, your main cradle up and down. I'm assuming that this is your, what is that? I can't really make that out. Oh, this has something to do with your, uh, your drive system. I'm assuming that's product on, product off. Don't know, gonna have to watch Nick Welker's videos, I guess catch up on this thing now that's a pretty good size uh holder that's a pro does this come out i don't want to break it no, i don't think so well i think i like that that's a good sign oh i got this bar here i like to look through the bar all the time it's pretty important ouch i just hit my elbow back here i don't know why they gotta have this so close maybe it's because my seat's so far all the way back yeah that's better another one here Yeah. Oh, guys, we got speakers on the outside of the liner. Holy cow, Case is definitely stepping it up. You know it's serious when they put the speakers on the outside of the liner. Nothing on the back, mind you. Well, it's a step. It's a step in the right direction. <laughs> okay, we should go. There's a lineup for some people. But it's looking pretty awesome. Cool. I don't know about the visibility. But it looks like a pretty sweet sprayer. I look forward to trying one. What the heck? USB, man, are they getting high tech up here. USB plart there. Cool, let's see what else we can find. Case Combine, we gotta go find Ashton, you guys. She parked in a different location than we did. We need to go try and find her. We found Ashton, the little man. He's a little guy. He's like, oh, what is that? What is that? He's like, nah, I'm over dead. Show me tractors. Show me tractors. Oh. Whoa. What is that? You having fun? Oh, you, oh, you talking? Are you talking? We're gonna go drive some tractors? Okay, let's go see what we can find. Oh, 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 Chapel's taking the phone. You're, you're recording now, I guess. Oh, there we go. Dad's got a bag. So, at the claws. I'd still like to uh, give one of these puppies a whirl. Just saying. It is on the bucket list. There's a lot of things on the bucket list, I'm not going to lie. Oh, and we did demo the uh, this sprayer. I did two videos about this. The Agrifac. Oh, I gotta go find my wife and the little man. And then as we're, uh, say what? I don't know, we'll go outside next. We got Schulte, Saskatchewan built. Then of course we got Borgo. Also Saskatchewan built, you guys are very familiar with Bogoro, that's what I run. This is their new, basically reminds me of a Sea Dock or a Batterstad. It's, I don't know what to call it. Pretty sure they have a fancy dancing name for it. It's not the type of openers we have. They're Trimax, maybe it's a Trimax because they still have mid-row banders, hence there's three. Maybe I should just read the sign. No, that's the bander sign. Oh, right over there, the yellow. There it is. Little the tutorial? Of the original purchase or aftermarket. So this particular opener is available only on that 3335 frame. Okay, we're moving on. Yeah, well, the rest is you guys know. It's what we run. Well, we don't run these openers, but you know what I mean. Okay, little man, he needs to sleep or he's gonna get really grumpy. Our concrete's too smooth. He needs to scatter on highways to kind of, you know, rumble him to sleep. And this is the main reason why I come to the show. The mini donuts. That's the reason we gotta get ourselves some mini donuts. <laughs> mini donuts are gone. And this little guy is not wanting to sleep because there's too much going on around here. Way too many tractors and 
Dad, you should watch where you're going here. I did not hit it for the record, but gosh, I came close. Videoing and pushing a stroller with the little man. It's a weak point. It's a weak point. Oh, man. So again, we're just in a booth area here and everyone's kind of got their there's grain dryers and seed cleaners and drainage stuff and bins and trailers and you name it and it's here. So I'm just gonna kind of take a look-see. Ooh. No, it's not a grain cart. It's a grain bin. You set it down on that frame and you fill it. It's just kind of like a bag, kind of temporarily. Kind of, sort of. Huh? Yeah, can So, I think it's like 6,500 bushels. So the theory, I believe, is um, if you want to haul your grain back home to your bins and your trucks can't keep up, well, you have a 6,500 bushel temporary bin right here. And you have it on a tractor and you can unload, you can unload it, put it in your trucks beats using a grain bag and then just have to clean up the grain bag again right away it is the theory I believe kind of cool to try one are you pretty happy right now okay I should stop tickling you it's so fun you're supposed to be sleeping little man you're supposed to be sleeping I know it's a farm show. Dad couldn't sleep either, but come on. <laughs> Over here in Baby Corner. <laughs> Don't worry, we put down a blanket, so I know you eat here. But we put a blanket down. Here. We're good. We're good. And you didn't pee. <laughs> I mean, you didn't pee all over the place, so we're good. And last but not least, you guys. This is all the John Deere we got here. We got a gator, and we got a little tractor over there. That's it. No combine, no tractor, no big tractor, no sprayer, no front wheel assist, nothing. That's disappointing. Disappointing. Say what? Really? <laughs> okay, see you guys later. They're taking off, and so we will be here. So I'm a little disappointed because the farm show was very small this year. Where all these vehicles were parked, it used to be all machinery. In fact, the stadium here has been here for a while, but uh, this used to be all machinery behind the stadium. And when you walk around here, it used to be all machinery out and around down there, and there's nothing but parking, so it's kind of disappointing. There's not very much here. On here, Ashton says, What? I can't hear what she's saying, and she won't stop walking. Hello? I can't hear what she's saying. I like his little red balloon. As long as there's no uh, clown with face paint on. Red balloon, clown with face paint, not good. Sorry about the wind, guys. So a little history here. Uh, this stadium is pretty much brand new. I think it was just a year, a couple years old. And this is Mosaic Stadium. This is where the Saskatchewan Rough Riders play. That's our Saskatchewan football team, part of the CFL. Not to be confused with the NFL in the US. What? Oh, you want a picture? Oh, I see what you're trying to do here. Okay, I, okay, I gotta take some pictures here. Okay, we got our pictures and everything, so there's only two pieces of equipment out here. The Dagoman Pro Tail, which is a newer design, it's more narrow. And then these water cannon thingamajiggers. I've never seen one work. There's two of them here. But I'm thinking uh, this might be handy up north. You just hook it up to a tractor, in theory, I guess. You back that end into a slough or a pothole or whatever it might be. And you water can it empty onto your land. Now, you really don't need this this year because it's so dang wet that you don't need any more water on your land. But, and maybe in more of a normal year where maybe you could use a little bit of rain in July, you could empty off some potholes, which would be fine, and just irrigate some of your fields. And I'm thinking that you just dump this thing in and it sucks from here. Try not to get too much mud, I'm guessing, in theory. I would like to try one of these. 
I don't know who makes them. But uh, definitely would like to try one. I think that would be kind of cool. Anyways, we're going to get to getting. We got to get out of here. I got to go pick up Bentley. Um, and uh, we got to head to the North Farm and go spraying. So. Well, we're on the side where our vehicle is, but maybe we should go take a look at the dot. Isn't this the dot thingamajigger over here? The self-driving Raven purchased. Could be wrong, but I think it's Raven purchased machine. Win, guys, but so is this thing trying to take my job? Seriously, are you trying to take my job, sir? I do not appreciate that, just so you know. <laughs> so this is basically just, from my knowledge, my limited knowledge, you got your engine, it's all automated, right? Drives itself, does its own thing. Then you can put on attachments. So over there, they got the sprayer attachment, right? You get the sprayer attachment. You got a granular attachment. You can actually put a little planter, cedar, seed master type thing on here. I do believe, I could be wrong, probably wrong, but that's it. That's kind of how it does. I would think it would get stuck, but it's supposed to see the water. So, you know, all that fun stuff. But, you know, technology doesn't fail, right? Pretty sure it doesn't fail. Can you see me, sir? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, we really gotta get going. Not sure if I'm gonna give my opinion yet on that uh, equipment, but anyway, thanks for following me around, guys. I think the next show in mid-July is Egg in Motion. Um, that's a much larger show, and I do believe that's one of the reasons why this one seems to be dissipating a little bit. Everyone's going to egg emotion. So I uh, will catch you guys on the flip side. Adios, amigos. Uh, guys, we're not we're not in small towns anymore. There's things that are driving out here that can hit me. I know. I gotta try. Whoa! I gotta try across this street. Okay. All right. Come on, guys. Come on. Why the chick across the street? Does anyone actually know why the chick across the street? No one does. No one knows that. No one knows why. Oh, we got a green. You know what, I have so much faith in humanity, guys. Even when we have a green, I still look both ways. Even on one ways, I still look both ways. Okay, I'm out of here.